So I got one year out of the previous horn. It's electric, inexpensive. It's Marine Co. I think what happened is I installed it where it may have had a slight incline, so water was accumulating inside the horn, and I think it damaged the little impeller or whatever the device is inside it that makes sound. So I bought a new horn, it's an air horn. It's a little bit smaller. Opened up the dash and drilled a hole. Just followed an ex the existing hole for the electrical wires. Just had to make it a larger diameter to accommodate the air tube. That went reasonably well. Got the compressor installed. I'm gonna trim the length of this tube once I get everything in place. Managed to purge a bunch of additional obsolete electrical items, which always makes me happy. I don't understand what this thing is exactly. Uh, TPL power amplifier. It had an antenna connection and then an on off switch. RF in, RF out. Um, I probably should have traced this. It goes up to the flybridge, but I just cut it and removed it. It doesn't appear to be in use with either of my existing radios. So this is for AM, FM, and SSB. Battery amp saver. Battery saver amp. Uh, uh, I don't know. If you have any idea what this does, uh, let me know. There we go, here's the specs. Working through the instruction manual to wire from an existing electrical horn. There's a, a relay that comes with the compressor. So the horn switch is on two of the blades. And then you have power feeding the compressor and pulling from a, con a, a dedicated positive pull off the battery to the relay to provide the compressor. So um, the full load that the comp pressure draws is not routed through the horn switch. I think also maybe this has got a little air tank in it, so it has power all the time, so it can maintain a charge. I don't know, it's my first air horn, figuring this out as I go. This looks terrible but I had to make it work with what I had on board. When I open the dash up again, I'll swap out that safety wire for a rubber strap. And then at the top right, I had to sink in an additional screw to prevent the motor from twisting. It has so much torque when power is applied.